Hello friends, welcome back to Wish Student Block. In this Zerto uh, series of training sessions, we will be looking at Zerto uh, Virtual uh, Replication Appliance Installation Process. So this is our uh, lab diagram where we have two sites. One is production and one is uh, DR site. Uh, both sites have uh, uh, two ESXA boxes uh, with the one vCenter and uh, <coughs> they have their uh, local uh, data store as well as uh, uh, as a shared data store so these are connected over the van and for a continuous replication so uh, in our previous video we have installed uh, uh, zvm on uh, both sites so i shown it on production but it was done on uh, dr side too so once that is done we are going to install the bra that is virtual replication appliance where uh, uh, whenever uh, for uh, we will be using a zvm to configure that and uh, when we when we configure that uh, like uh, each host will uh, have uh, a single vra installed on it uh, and it will take care of uh, take care of uh, replication between the two sites so let's go to our lab so this is our production site and uh, this is our DR site which we already discussed about this so and you are able to see the production site in the sites and in the DR site and whereas in production site if you go to DR site if you go to sites you are able to see the DR site here so talking about what is a virtual replication appliance uh, uh, virtual uh, that is VRA is a lightweight uh, security hardened and uh, purpose-built Linux VM that captures uh, protected VM's uh, rights. VRA compresses the rights uh, sent to uh, peer VRS that is on DR uh, where it exists on the DR side uh, or uh, exists on the recovery side uh, then compress and applies these rights to the Zeto journal and option <coughs> optionally uh, like uh, Zeto 8.5 uh, as, as of 8.5 VRA to VRA communication can also be encrypted. So now we are using 0 to 9. So that was for 8.5. So uh, like uh, VRS also serve as the mount points for both journals and replication disk. For DR journals are always stored on recovery uh, recovery VRS so that uh, if the production site goes down or unavailable, recovery operations uses the journal or uh, s journal or still possible a uh, like uh, if you go to the diagram if you see the production site and uh, DR site uh, you are able to see the journals and replicas are available on DR site that's what we are discussing if the production box production site goes down still the journals and replicas are available so that we can uh, uh, replicate back to the production site that's what uh, we are discussing so let's go and uh, deploy the VRS for that uh, on the production side uh, go to setup and uh, select uh, one of the ESXi box so I selected 11.1 .1 and uh, click on the plus sign that is a uh, new VRA so when you click this uh, you will be getting the couple of uh, options to fill up so here we will select the local uh, data store for this ESXA box and the network is uh, VM network so you are able to see three networks available which we already discussed in our previous video we leave uh, a memory and CPU as it is and uh, uh, similarly we can leave uh, we can leave populate VRA post installation uh, post uh, installation uncheck to uh, so this one we leave it as it is and uh, future allow seamless auto balancing of uh, production uh, uh, production groups that uh, is uh, VPGs uh, we will discuss about VPGs in upcoming videos across the VRS so okay so since this is a new case uh, clean install and we don't have VPGs yet okay so scrolling down uh, we'll be looking at uh, uh, the VRA network details where we will assign static IP so the address will be 192.168.111.21 and default gateway is 192.168.11.254 once this is done we will click on install 
so now what happens is uh, it is installing a VRA uh, like uh, in the production site so if we go to our production site uh, on this box uh, we'll be able to see a VM getting deployed uh, so we're able to see here <laughs> soon it will be deploying you are able to see here something is happening that is uh, uh, like it's uh, going to deploy the uh, <coughs> VRA there it is getting deployed now once it is getting once it get deployed it will be powered on so it's in progress and uh, it won't take much time but uh, yeah we'll wait so now it is getting powered on and it's on now so we'll go back to our uh, Zeto uh, console and you are able to see installation is at 80 percent so so while uh, this is in progress uh, we look at a uh, automated way so way of installing VRS uh, we'll go to the right top uh, menu side this is this one and uh, go to site settings and we'll go to workloads automation and uh, when you click this uh, you'll be having enable VRA auto installation once host is added to the cluster so <coughs> if you see here if you enable this what happens is uh, so whenever any host is added to your uh, vCenter cluster by default it will deploy a VRA on it and uh, it will take care of uh, take care of installing that so uh, so now when you click apply what happens is uh, it will take care of uh, everything so just click apply and save now we'll go back and go to new vra and uh, this time we'll select the hold on we'll select the cluster wide and uh, go to VRS and uh, here now this time we'll select the free NAS and uh, network is VM network we'll leave that CPU and uh, memory as it is and uh, here we need to select the pool so we can give the range like uh, whatever you want dot 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 to 192.168.111.32 so what happens is uh, whenever any new box is added it will it will assign the IP from this pool and uh, it will take care of installing VRA on the ESXA box and we'll click and install and then you can able to see that the on the second ESXA box uh, you are able to see the installation is in progress this one is completed and uh, this one is in progress so so we won't wait for to be completed so we'll just wait for some more time or else uh, we will wind up this call so <coughs> so giving some more information about VRA like VRA starts out as a 300 MB image deployed through the Zerto virtual manager uh, so VRS puts a very small amount of overhead on ESXi host on the on the order of uh, around 2 to 3 percent overall so Zerto recommends uh, in installing a VRA on every host in a cluster with uh, protected VMs. This ensures uninterrupted production. For example, a VM is vMotion to a different host. If that host already has a VRA on it as well, 
duplication continues as usual uh, without uh, requiring any reconfiguration okay so it's still in progress but uh, yeah so once this is done i will meet in our next video creating a vpg so thank you guys thanks for watching please do subscribe my channel like my videos any suggestions and queries please reach out to me on vstudentblog at gmail.com thank you bye bye